Ladies and gentlemen, we are truly If you're new to this series or you are just catching up, my name is Katie, that little cocker spaniel is called Albert, and we are moving to Italy. Now, we are currently in the middle of a very unconventional travel from Ireland to Italy. Now, decided to go on trains and ferries, and we just finished our day one. what will be the longest four days of my life. Yes, it's time to go and get to Italy. So, we made it, we're on the ferry. I'm, again, sorry for the poor microphone quality. All my mics have been shipped off to Italy. We're here. There's a few issues, cabin's lovely. Like, we're in the four person cabin, even though there's two of us. Quite snug, as you can see. I can literally do this and nearly touch everything. Got a window, we're fine. Like, I'm glad we got a window to look out, but the only negatives are, the only place Albert's allowed is on the outside deck, which is about from here to your fridge, maybe. We'll bring him out for a bit of a walk afterwards and he will go to sleep, hopefully. Hopefully. Bonjour et bienvenue à bord. Nous sommes ravis de vous compter parmi nous. Nous voulons que vous passiez une traversée confortable, ce en toute sécurité. Aussi, nous vous remercions de prêter attention à cette annonce de sécurité. En cas d'urgence, vous entendrez une alarme de sécurité. Okay, so because we've literally just left home and we've left Mam, which was a very teary affair, I'm going to jump in as quickly as possible, edit the goodbye video, and just get it done so that way we can deal with it afterwards and then I can just upload it on the train and get my phone. I think it's finally calmed down a little bit, so let's we'll see what happens when we take off. Welcome from Centerline. It's been an okay night. Everything's been going fine, except Albert hasn't peed at all. Bomb, buddy, TMI. He just doesn't understand the concept and it's been, a lot of the dog owners has been very difficult. I will go into more detail about it later, but just as I was sitting down to record this, we actually got a notice from our captain saying that we are going to be delayed a half an hour. That usually would be no problem, except we have trains that we need to get to. I'm having a bit of a panic attack right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are truly f We're an hour and a half behind schedule. So we are definitely gonna miss the train to get us to the car the car team. And there's no Wi-Fi. I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. Why do we spend 11 euro on Wi-Fi when it doesn't work? Nothing works. The only thing that works is bloody email and I'm freaking out now because I do not know how we're going to get to Paris. I don't even know if there's another if there's another train after Paris. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh, Himalaya, what was it you saw? I couldn't believe anything at all. Cause I don't know it's what you would want. All the time. Okay, so we've arrived in Cherbourg. We think there's going to be a train to bring us straight to Paris, which would be fine. We've lost the money on the train tickets and it's another 100 euro to get train tickets, but that's fine. We'll take the train. Albert still hasn't weed. It's been nearly 24 hours. Bomb, buddy, TMI. Very, very worried. I've tried to express his glands. I've tried everything, nothing. But anyway, he'll be fine. Time to go on to the next adventure. Our next adventure brought us to Cherbourg. The original plan was we were meant to take a walk to Cherbourg train station. We were meant to take a train from Cherbourg train station to Gare de Carine and that didn't work unfortunately because we were late and the Gare de Carine was meant to bring us to 
Paris. But it actually worked out better for us in the end because although it was an extra 100 euro for tickets, we ended up actually going on a dead straight train drive from Cherbourg to Paris and it was so much easier. So I will say Albert definitely got a little bit angsty around the third hour. It is kind of worrying me for tomorrow's train journey because tomorrow's train journey is five hours. But I think just constant getting up, kind of walking to the toilet, bringing him to the toilet, walking around, I think we should be fine and making sure that he has lots of water and is hydrated. The one thing I really think about the French people are so nice to dogs and to people with dogs. Like the amount of people that have reached out to pet Albert. If you really want to see what a French person is like, bring a dog around them because they've been so kind. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings because I feel like we're going to see a whole different side to Paris than what we did when we were in Paris the last time without Albert. We started off on such a good start. I really hope that the good luck continues, but if it doesn't, we'll survive, we'll manage it and we'll see. Welcome to Paris. We are about to do 24 hours in Paris. So tomorrow, we don't really have a plan on what we're going to do. We wanted to do the Eiffel Tower, but it is like 50 minutes in the complete opposite direction of where our next train is going to be. So it's going to be an unconventional 24 hours. Albert has been amazing. The only thing is, I think after the ferry, he didn't pee for the whole time he was on the ferry. TMI. Because he just didn't understand. There was too much distraction. So I am very conscious that I want to make sure that he is staying hydrated enough, but also releasing himself enough. So we'll go out again tonight before we go to bed but the hotel is lovely we're staying at the Hotel Imperial which is in the 15th arrondissement I think and we're just across from a lovely synagogue we upgraded our room so originally it was 174 euro for a single room for myself and Albert and that was the dog bill included but because Thomas was going <laughs> look at him because Thomas was going to be coming with me we decided to change it up and we've actually gotten two single beds that are pushed together as a double and one single bed as well so we have so much room which is really really nice and I really recommend it even though it is kind of far out from places it was very close to the train stations that we have to use so well done us anyway let's see where the night takes us others Move. So our 24 hour in Paris vlog is going quite crap because we're not planning on doing anything from where we are when we're here. So. Wasn't trying to get my numbers up You know I keep it cool I prefer to stay in the cut Don't want no attention on me When I'm trying to shake the blues up off me But then I saw your face Do you know you are at the Louvre? Do you know? You're at the Louvre This is a big deal Yes Girl, you fine as you wanna but We didn't get up too much but I will say and I have to commend them. The French are another breed when it comes to dogs. I have had so many people come up to me and Albert while we were walking around just like to pet him and to speak nicely to him. Ignore us, but speak nice to the dog. So dog friendly, but you hear the all the time. On the train, it was a long hours slog. The train was delayed again, but to be honest, I'm kind of happy about that because that means we actually were six hours on the train, which is preparing us for tomorrow's train. And Albert is doing really well, like touch wood. Like, but to be honest, even if tomorrow is crap, I'll take it because we've had three really positive days of travel and you would think by the last three days Albert has been traveling his entire life. I'm so shocked by him. You might get what you ask for, so you better be sure it's what you want. Oh. We made it 
headed to Hotel Agosta and I look as desperate as I feel guys. It was actually nice, it's a really nice hotel and uh, we had to pay a tenner for Albert and 20 euro for Thomas. As if getting them to go to pee wasn't hard enough, there's a fireworks display happening in Augsburg for no reason and now my boy won't pee at all. Look at the state of me, oh my god I look worse for wear. Oh. So in conclusion guys, day two has been nice. Is that it? Oh no. And just when we thought we were on the home stretch, our final train caused probably the most problems. Although we had a reserved seat for some reason, this particular train did not allow us to have a normal booking system where it said F31 belongs to Katie Gallagher. Oh no, not this one. This one had little bits, little bits of paper on top of the seats saying Munich to Padova. And that was it. So obviously people pretended they were going that way. This was a bit of an issue. And then on top of that, they took away a carriage. So for seven hours, myself and Albert were sitting in between carriages. Thomas joined us halfway through as well, but he was trying to find seats for us every time we could. The train was a mess. I know I recommended Rail Europe previously. Please do not use this app. Do not use Rail Europe. We landed in Padova into the 37 degrees searing heat. And then our vlog abruptly ends. Was it all easy for the first week? No. Did I even have a chance to vlog it? No. But I will be doing a catch up with you soon. Just know that the first week is always going to be overwhelming and if you are moving somewhere, it's okay to feel overwhelmed, it's okay to cry, but you got to make sure you get back up the next morning and start at it again. Keep your head in the clouds, but always land on your feet.